So, ladies, welcome to the Monday's call. Like, we should have about five or six or seven people coming. We'll get it started. If, you know, they do come, great. If not, you know, obviously, we'll, we'll, we'll see a replay. Today, we are going to almost finish the, um, the path. So, this is basically what we've been doing in CEO right now. Uh, we are in community. So, I'm going to briefly speak about why, you know, community is important. And then, of course, you know, after we finish that, which is going to be about probably next week, uh, we, we, there is going to be a week which I'm going to pre present the new path of the, or, or the new phases of the second chance, which obviously, you know, the new site is coming out, as I said, anywhere in, in August somehow, uh, which is going to speak about the pathways to build a body that you can love and deserve without binging and food dependency, yet without giving away all the food you love, okay? So there are going to be ways to you to understand how do you uh, defeat the problem that you currently have yet you know without in a way all your time you know all your all your food and everything and that's gonna you know implies of course you know and, and you're gonna see a lot of writings here you know next week uh you know beating binges you know reclaiming identities you know building a perfect body or the body that you want right and then of course maintaining you know the whole you know aspect of maintaining you know the you know the health uh, you know, this is going to happen anywhere from the next, um, next week into the week after before I go, I go temporarily to vacation myself. I'm still going to be very active in here, yet I'm not, there is going to be a week and a week and a half or so that we're not going to have our three weekly call except for your own calls. So uh, those of you that want to get a call with me either before or after, um, probably you can already see from the schedule. Um, and of course, you can always text me every time you want. You know, I'm going to go several times live anyway. Um, with this being said, today I want to briefly talk about community before I open up, you know, for questions and kind of like how you see the community yourself. Uh, community is something that is pretty much the, one of the most important things that we have here, you know, out of my surprise, you know, I've been going online for two years almost now, and this has been probably the biggest underestimated, you know, <clears throat> thing for myself as well. Uh, I never thought that the, the environment could be <clears throat> so much a factor of people succeeding. Yet, you need to understand, and, and mostly for those of you not, not here today, you need to understand that you need to foster this environment, you know. Uh, whether or not we have a team now of me and Leah, we, you know, we used to have a team of, you know, 200 people on top of that. It doesn't matter how big the team it should be. Uh, we currently have about 40 people in, inside a program. Uh, when, when we used to have more people, and of course it was more general, like the, the message was not ingrained enough, so we had a bunch of general people. Yeah, the community, in my opinion, was working uh, a lot more efficiently. You know, like people used to post a lot more, people used to go live a lot more. And it's very, very easy for you all to see m motivation from other people, you know. Uh, yeah, it, 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 it's, it's like if you do it, take part of that, like the, the, the community will foster itself. You know, the environment will be hundred times better. So this is almost an invite uh, to really take uh, action into the things that you need to take action on. So, you know, weekly, to weekly focuses, weekly topics, you know, are not there by chance. I don't just take an extra hour of my time coming up with a topic just so that people can consume the content and not saying anything because that's not going to necessarily create a change. Okay. Uh, this week topic is stress. You know, I just made the life before, you can go ahead and you know, throughout the whole week comment about it because I know that everybody will, uh, will play, like stress plays in everybody's life. And yet when you learn how to take stress and understand that it's a bunch of feelings that is created from a stressor and justify this stressor, you know, whether or not you want it or you need it in your life, whether or not it's real, like according to or justify, you have the ability with practicing and practicing and practicing to actually be able to really stop yourself from doing those, those choices, okay? This is just one of the things. The other thing is like, when I, I see that you girls do all that very well, when somebody posts, I see a lot of interaction, that's great. The community, we are the five, uh, the addition of the five people we hang out more with, right? So if we have a community of 40, 50, 100 people, you know, which goes towards the same direction, whether or not that reflects 100% your story, you will see yourself more motivated. Like you will, foster yourself out from the motivation uh information plus good coaching right plus uh you taking action and being very motivated from the environment is the the recipe for success okay yet the the community if information is 20 percent uh you know our coaching is maybe another 20 percent the community is something like 60 70 percent okay so you do really 
And especially for those of you watching, take action into this thing. Uh, do not just post the wins. Do not just post the, the milestone. Try to, whenever you have five minutes of time, just do a post, just do something. Just either, either go back and do those on the unit tab, you know, like um, kind of like those workshops that we built. Because uh, in the new site, <coughs> whether or not you are still in the program or whether or not you've been here for years and you, and you time, now think that it's the time for you to, to be able to manage this on your own, the new site will require a lot more work, meaning like will require you know, a lot more, like the workouts will be the same, but topics that goes on, on a weekly structure is really going to make you not waste more time or spend more time, but it's going to require for you to actually, if you see that this is something you need to be doing, and again, it's, like, well, it's really structured in a way that if, you, if you're not a stress eater, probably you're going to see that video you're not going to necessarily post. But if you are, that's the time that you actually want to do something about it. Because this is the time that you say, yes, this is for me. I realize that, you know, there is a test to take. I'll take it. I'll post it. And then Jerry or somebody else is going to tell me something about their test, right? So if you do all that, then is when you're actually learning. Because most of these topics are not things that you kind of say to yourself, okay, I'm doing something. I commit it, but I don't, I don't necessarily need to work on. It does require a lot of work, okay? With this being said, environment is 70%, 60% at least. Uh, foster the environment. Uh, do your best if, if it's in your ability and if it's in your ethics, you know, like to, to, do, to do those posts, to go live, to, have, to, to share something vulnerable, vulnerable, to share, you know, a story that can help somebody else. Fairly like all of you present here have been doing that, so that's, that's actually pretty good. So um, I want to have a small little chat, first of all, about the, the actual community itself. You know, I would like you to, to, to say your opinion. So Aditi first, maybe. Um, can, you, can you share, you know, what was your take, you know, from the environment? How important was your environment before? And now that you understand in our program how important it is, uh, can you say if you have any benefit from it so far? Uh, or if it's something that obviously didn't so much change your reality? No, uh, it actually changed a lot for me. And I, I think uh, from what you've seen me post as well, uh, it helps me a lot to be able to talk about what I'm doing and my journey. Um, I'm surrounded by a lot of people that are either uh, working really hard and so are not focused on their health and fitness so much, so they're not doing anything about it or are just not motivated enough to do it. Or they're at a whole different phase where they're very fit and happy with where they are. So there's nobody where I am uh, in my life directly around me. So it's nice to be able to share um, my journey with people that are there. Um, keeps me motivated, gives me a lot of ideas and recipes and things that I can do different and better. Um, takes me out of my, uh, like my narrow perspective, because <laughs> I think all of us have a very narrow perspective on our lives. And it's nice to see what everyone else is doing to, to learn that progress happens at different paces for everyone and uh, uh, today when I was taking my photos my progress photos I actually took a photo of myself and I looked happy with my body and that's the first time that's happened in a very very long time and I think it has a lot to do with the fact that there's so many people making progress with me and I'm going to be sharing on that group yeah yeah you try to focus on having you like yourself before you can actually build something you like which is yeah. really what everybody should do uh, there was what, <laughs> that was what the kind of like the, the last weekly top, topic about because it's like if you can like yourself enough right now to actually be able to <laughs> to like you even though you're not where you need to be when yeah. you will be there you will just like yourself more or love yourself yeah. then you know and that, yeah. that's the whole thing because for for you know for years i saw this even before i went online in the gym people looking great in the gym and then they're not happy and they always you know whatever was the before they had like a, i don't know like that the belly then they removed that, but there still was some kind of like rolls in there. Like you see, okay, oh, they're never happy enough. You know, you take away the belly, yeah. now there is a cellulitis problem. So it's like, yeah. you, you don't, you're never going to be confident because you don't focus on being confident. You focus on twisting yourself into something that, you know, is like when you see, compare yourself to models and stuff, yet those people sometimes are photoshopped. You know, those yeah. people have the same insecurity. You see those people without makeup is the same thing. Like they, they feel the same like you, you know, yeah. so that's, that's exactly the, the very important part. So thank you for your sharing. We're going to move on. And then at the end, like if there is any question for anything, we can, of course, open up. Rushali, what do you think? Um, how was or how is the environment uh, helping you out in this whole journey? Hello, can you hear yes. me? Yeah, hi. Yeah. Uh, so uh, uh, 
in the beginning it, it, it's good that uh, uh, you know that there are so many people facing the similar kind of challenges that you are and you're not the only person who is um, going crazy about such things um but then uh, it, it's so sometimes it's just not my thing to post something or i don't know uh, and then and then everybody is posting and then sometimes it it, it is uh, a lot of people are saying a lot of things and then i it, it makes me feel that i'm the only one not knowing about these things and everybody knows a lot uh, and, and it just uh, i don't know i should be uh, benefiting from it but i'm not to tell you the truth you benefit from from the environment yes you you need to elevate your level of thinking a little bit and understand that here we're not judging anybody meaning like like you we're not like saying okay somebody knows more or knows less like you're in the in the journey of your of your own meaning like you will necessarily need to get to a journey uh yeah and again that's that's the important part like you don't feel like you never want to feel like you're falling behind you know uh you can always say uh, like you can always turn out the not- notification if you want uh yet the the very minimum post that you should make like for your own benefit also not not so much maybe to support other people if that's something that doesn't help you but also to really let us know how things are uh you know that needs to get done and this is going to be in the future and non-negotiable like we used to kick people out for that like tons of people i expelled uh for a, for a point of time i said i'm not going to do that but like the way we're not going to do that anymore is because i make sure before people going in that they're super positive about it like not that they need to like that part but they they need to at least to be willing to do the thing that they need to be do that's why we have 40 people and we don't have 150 people like if i went taking everybody right now we would have maybe 300 people uh i chose not to do that i chose to raise my prices a lot and and not to do that because i want people to say i'm going to invest into whatever i need to do to fix a problem you know uh, and that's necessary so w- my suggestion is like maybe put out the notification if it's something that really you know doesn't help you you're kind of like but yet be mindful of the post that you need to make and don't mm-hmm. make just a post that is like okay this is a win finally i can post something positive make the post that is like you know even like you see a lot of people struggling about losses here like people struggling with some like word that out is is important like people there is something magical when you see somebody falling down getting up and moving forward like medellin this last week like this is something magical because it shows you that you're growing yeah definitely like you don't you don't want to just post okay cool I I had this kind of people in the past so I just, oh I didn't change any measurements anything it's like okay I'm not going to post it's like cool so how do I know now what to tell you like how do we know how to fix like I can I hi like I can do it it's like there might be somebody that can go random but it's difficult so uh take in my opinion take the environment only whatever like you can choose uh, meaning like whatever helps you in the past we had also people that get very demotivated from see other people succeeding somehow that has to do with you or not you but like people has to do their own work meaning like uh if you get demotivated or like you if you felt out of almost like jealousy out of uh, people succeeding and then you don't you know there is a social comparison component that needs to take to be addressed as well as uh when again you almost get bothered by like it doesn't have to be the same for everybody but like if you almost get bothered from kind of like seeing other succeed and something and and you feel like falling behind or something like that there is a component of you creating more space for yourself so mm-hmm. i cannot emphasize this enough people are going to see this replay those of you that are not working at this time like those of you that finish work should be here right now like sh- it shouldn't be something that you just take up whenever like like if if you unless if you're somebody like super advanced super that you don't struggle with this anymore that's great but other why you should be here because this is those thing, those are those things that i know that people don't care or give so much attention to but this is the thing that change your kind of like elevate your level of thinking like you you become somebody different you do those kind of like under underestimated thing those thing that you kind of like don't pay attention much but on the long haul is a habit you building something that kind of like twist your level of thing, like you shift in your mindset i cannot emphasize this enough like with a diet you can get to the level you can get workouts like i this goes for everybody workout six times this week for three weeks or something like that eat less 
you will see your body changing. Yet when you get there, you're gonna hate, you're gonna hate the process. You're gonna say, okay, cool, now I just wanna hit whatever I was eating. Why? Because you haven't changed the mindset. Mm -hmm. So this is something that like you, um, I really wish like, we, we're gonna cover this again in the future. Uh, you really want to really start focusing on creating whatever time you need for yourself and say, cool, I'm gonna take health as whatever it, whatever. Like we're gonna have a call tomorrow, are we? Yeah, I, that, I right? just had a, a related to environment, related to this community. I just had one more question. So um, I don't know if I po if uh, normally I, I try to take these calls, but a couple of times it has happened that I have seen a replay, and then you say if 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 something uh, uh, if I have some questions, if we have some questions, we should uh, comment on it. Yeah, but then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But then should we just comment on it and then talk to you about it later? Or no, you want to comment it because to... every comment I see, you would have somebody comment back or you would have me going live. Uh, or you can also, of course, go live, whatever you prefer to do. Like I'm not expecting everybody to be okay doing that. But this is something that you want to do in a way that you... It's, so it's like saying it's a small little, small little bricks that you put every time. Every time you put another bricks, first of all, it saves it on your profile. So I, I will know a, a whole history. And then like, it, it also tells me, uh, it's, the accountability is mostly for you, but for me, I, I really get more information of you. Meaning like, okay, if you understand, if you see something on the, on the call that you say, okay, now this, I, I'm struggling with this, I know that there's something, you know, it's like saying, it's almost like a detective work. Should like, I expect uh, a, 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 an answer from you or should I yeah, keep yeah. that comment on my no, you Because you're gonna, you're gonna I, I, I ask, ask something and then I... I I don't know. Maybe I did not. If you get want that, if you want me to, you did not uh, see. The yeah, you need to tag me. Like you need to tag me. Ah. Yeah. Otherwise, like it's still Facebook will still have an organic reach. It's not gonna. I might not see it. If you make a post, usually I would see and you tag me. I would see it all the time. If instead mm -hmm. you you just comment and then you don't tag me, maybe I won't see it. Sometimes I will see it, but sometimes I won't. So that's why. Yeah. yeah. Ah, so okay. this is kind of like the best way. Yeah probably forgot to say that um okay. for the rest we'll probably speak directly in your call tomorrow so we're gonna have at least 20 30 minutes to to really answer all the questions that you have i'm mm -hmm. gonna give you a game plan i want you to follow it like and i want you to come back with with real data don't just say okay oh, i did a fault yeah i follow but not like just do your best follow it because uh, i want like i want you to come with question i want you to come with related question to your to your kind of situation 100 mm -hmm. and then we'll we'll try to to whatever like you're struggling with to make that thing happen yeah okay, okay? in about a week mm -hmm. or whatever okay so uh thank you for sharing we'll go down to uh, emily real quick and then Madeline. emily how, how is your is this community impacting your level of adherence to exercise and and health I haven't. No, no. Yeah, can you? Yes. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah. No, I can. Uh, yeah. Uh, to be honest, the last week I've maybe not been following it so much because a lot of my work tends to focus on social media. So at times I, I get really tired and I just don't want to be on social media anymore. Uh, but yes, it is in encouraging seeing people and. Once in a while, uh, I might see some recipes there that I, I want to try. That's great. So that, that helps too. And especially the pictures of food, for me, sometimes they as well help me get an idea. That, okay, this is a decent portion size. Because that is something I I've, have had to learn that previously my portions were probably way too big. Yeah. So now I, I, I get to see a, a better it's, uh, I work better with images. So when I get to see the pictures and I said, okay, it's supposed to be like that. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you're doing well? Like I saw that you, you lost one centimeter, the weight more or less the same, or yeah, do you feel, how do you feel? Because I saw your picture and one is very, very lighting, the other one no lighting. So it's a little bit deceiving, but uh, do you see, do you yeah, feel better I, on, the, on the clothes? Uh, I, I struggle with the lighting in my room because I, I do all these things in the morning before I've eaten mm -hmm. and the sun is on the opposite side of the house. So I don't get natural lighting in the morning. 
Mm. So it's it's difficult to get decent light, but uh, I can't say that I see or feel a physical difference as such at this point. Because I mean that the only difference was around my waist, um, mm. and in that sense, it's not a big enough difference for me to feel anything on my clothes yet. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll see. We'll see. You do you feel like I know like the um, in regard to the PCOS part? Like, did, did you start taking the medication for that? Yes. Yes. Okay. Good. So, like, do you have a call coming up soon? Uh, tomorrow. Okay. Good. So we'll 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 talk then as well, just to make yeah. sure. To I want to give you a little bit more. I, I really want to identify if there is anything that you know, you you. In my opinion, you're doing okay. If you do centi two centimeter down, it's going down. I want to see if there is a way for you to to expedite a little bit, kind of like to to get you to go down, you know, a little bit more faster. But mm -hmm. but you're doing okay. It takes patience. Like every time that uh, you are affected from anything else than just you know proper genetics. Uh, there is going to be a mod, a full week in the in the new program that that talks about the individuality part. So in the, for me, individuality is realistic part versus you know you thinking that you have a cellulitic problems versus having real problems such as you know it could be water retention for real. It could be uh, that you have to do an elimination diet for you know gut gut health or something like that. It could be PCOS. You know there is going to be a full module about all this. Like again, on my holistic way, I'm not a doctor. I'm not going to research tons of things and bore you to death for what that thing is. You probably know it already. But there is going to be ways to, for you to see, much like we did in, in, in several other things, to, to see an holistic view and say, okay, if you don't, if you don't do this, if you prevent this, uh, it's going to be an improvement. I'm going to tell you the truth. In all, most of the time, it is really uh, an excessive calorie cut, you know, more excessive than other. Like this is, this exact, that fixes, I want to say, 90% of the problem, including insulin resistance including um, cellulitis, like of course cellulitis have a little bit more towards the fact that you need to do some jumps, that you need to do some runs, that you need to have an impact on your foot. There are several things that need to change on the carbs, but still we're talking about uh, most of the time I, 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 an extreme calorie deficit. And again, extremely in certain times and then putting it back. Um, I'm yeah. interested on... I was going to say that tomorrow, but you know, earlier you told me to eat more. Uh, mm -hmm. I actually think that I feel like that might not be working for me because I felt better when I was eating less. Uh, what do you mean? Like early in the day? Uh, no, like the last week uh, when I was starting around 1500 calories, then you told me to add to that. Uh, okay, gotcha, okay. Yeah, good. Okay, yeah. I understand. Yeah. We'll, uh, yeah so we'll look at the detail later. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it like in, in your specific call. Uh, I'm definitely going to try to shift the carbohydrates. Um, the way that you're storing most of that, of the weight is really on the midsection, I think. So, like, we'll, 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 we'll work it out to get to tomorrow together. Uh, that might, you know, expedite things a little bit. Okay, um, thank you for, um, you know, for sharing. Uh, Medellin, uh, you seem to be the last one today. Like, it seems like some people didn't make it. So I want you to, to explain what you feel about the community. Like, uh, I know it must have helped you somehow because, like, I see that you're doing very well in here so far. <laughs> um, community is incredibly important to me. So, uh, I mean, I've been on my recovery journey for quite a few years. So I've not only struggled with food, but also with alcohol. And so I used to be on quite a lot of recovery groups. But what I found with some of the groups is that the energy is very negative. And then it kind of drags you down. <laughs> so what I love about this group is there's balance between saying, all right, I didn't exercise today because I had period pain and, you know, it's going really well. So there's, there's the reality of day-to-day -day life. And I also love the welcoming co you know, comments from new people. And so it really feels like there's a sense of we care about each other and also a thing of, you know, if it's going really badly, I can say it. And, you know, so it, it feels like it, it, it's, a, it's a safe container in which yeah. to grow and, and to share, you know, whatever one wants to share. So it feels good to me. I'm, I'm happy that you say that because it must be somehow helping you because, uh, you know, like I said, mm -hmm. you're doing so, so well so far. 
for me, um, you know, we kind of like want to close off, you know, with, with like with me, uh, you know, saying what this community is for me. Uh, and, and I'm going to take a kind of like a, an input from you there because um, I, I know that's the same, you know, like I, I've been joining groups in the past, not only, you know, free groups, but also paid groups from, from communities, from several mentorship that I tried. And what I found was that, you know, we had our first event in Zurich uh, last year, like most of you were not here at that time. Uh, and in last uh, Christmas, we, we're shooting to do another one this Christmas. Probably. Uh, I wanted to do one in the summer, but, you know, it, it seems to be that, um, you know, for, for several people living from the team, it's something that we need to kind of like move after. And it sounds like it's going to be, uh, we kind of probably have to evaluate the place as well, because like before it was mostly Switzerland. Now we have a bunch of Norway, Finland, you know, Sweden. So like my, my idea is to, when we do have more, much more people to do, to hold an event into all the one of the big cities, you know, like that all you guys from, which which is great. But what was the what was the kind of like the nutshell of the conversation? Is because you know, being in fitness for twenty years or more, uh, I was always in you know face to face in the gym with people, one to one or in a one to group. You actually meet the people, but like you almost feel the people like a number. Like you don't feel like you're really caring for the people. Uh, people sharing, and again, this is why I can feel connected a lot. Connected, for example, some people like been here for a, not only for a while, but being very, very active. Like Marisa Sconis, you know, uh, Madeline, for example, already Aditi a lot. Um, all of you, of course, like, but all of you that also come to the like, I see always the same faces on the call. Rushal is always in the call here, you know, Emily as well. So I feel more, much more connected to people that are connected than to us than just people that say, okay, I come in, hopefully I can get something results from, which it would be amazing, by the way. But then, you know, it's, it's, it's different when, when we don't get to know each other. And online have a very powerful way to actually you know, make, make, make people know each other. When I met some of the people on the event, I felt like I knew them for a long time. Boulder team, it was the first time I had, <coughs> I had saw Ire and, and Georgia for the team. Uh, it was kind of like, I felt like I knew them already. And this is compared to a lot of things that I did. Sometimes I did mentorship myself. You go in and you post and it takes a week for them to answer. I always try to say, you know, I'm definitely going to answer in the same day, you know, unless I'm, I don't have something higher that I cannot do. But mostly, like you said before, you go inside some of these places, you know, I, I, I did join a lot of binge eating, uh, a lot of um, anorexia kind of groups. Um, of course, before for the purpose of, you know, helping myself awareness journey, but then of course also to try to help these people and you won't be amazed. I mean, I don't know, maybe you, you tried to join in the past, the negativity that is in pe people almost when I use that excuse to feel bad about it. It's like, okay, I'm, yeah. I'm a, I'm a binge eater. Now other people are suffering too. So let's, let's, let's say that. And I said, you know, to, I, I did send the admin a message and I say, look, for the past two years, we've been helping women overcome food dependency. You know, do you mind if I make a few posts about it, like, like how I do in my group? And she answers, oh, no, no, you know, we have a lot of message, people, me, you know, you cannot come and market yourself in here. And it's like, I won't market myself, but like help these people. You know, you have two, 3,000 people in here. You have a platform that you make a post and you get a lot of people. Like if I make a post, everybody comes up and they're like, you know, we want to be, uh, we don't want to be kind of bother in here like you don't want to like we had sold already everywhere else like don't come here and sell and it's like like you have a, a huge responsibility towards these people like you they need help people that maybe they're like like Madeline like the way you came to me the first time like they're all like from that to worse meaning like they really feel like they're gonna like in much pain and, and it's like no no we don't want to any post because it's like it would be almost like you know, God forbid, if you want to help any of those people, it's like you want almost like feeling this environment to kind of like, you know, stay is a safe place in here. And it's like, I don't see how you have a responsibility towards people, you know, and then like, you don't do it. It's like, like these people need help, you know, and this is, uh, this is what I notice a lot in a lot of communities, you know, they, they want to pretend they're helping them. But, you know, crying each other's shoulder and say, okay, you know, we got just going to be here. I take this as an excuse. So I justify my environment. That's that's really sad because like they will never ever change. You know, mm. by by you know like I never said you know I will come here and I will say okay buy from me or whatever. Like it's like no, it's like you know we have a solution. I believe we have a solution in here. You know you can listen, you can raise your hand if you want it, but you don't have to. It's like this idea of not helping people and pretend you want. 
I feel like it's, it's going on in a lot of community. And that's probably why people are keep failing because like, you know, everybody tells them they're broken. It's like, you get in those community. Oh, I, I, I binge. Oh yeah. I binge too. Oh yeah. It's been like only one day. And it's like, okay, we're all like broken and ashamed and, and guilt. And it's like, that's, that's a, that's a recipe for failure. If you were not doing so bad before, like you're definitely setting yourself. To the worst. <laughs> so, I, I feel. so that's anyway, that's my debut. And, and I said over here, we don't, but this is, this, is, this is kind of like the last thing that, that I'm saying to people to say, yeah, over here, we don't say that you always have to be happy. Important is not to bring themself, people down, not to kind of like be negative around each other. But by all means, if the emotion you feel is justified, if your stress is justified, if your kind of like uh, frustration is justified, post it. Because like you, you're going to see that other people are in, in this group are trying to pick you up. They're not li- leaving you on the floor and say, okay, you know, like stay there. No, like we're going to always try to, you know, to, to pick you up. Uh, by all means, like you can say and, and express however you want, as long as it's always in a re- respectful way, then, you know, it's, it's a, this environment needs to somehow stay as positive as possible because you can see, um, you will see in the round table like, that I'm going to present, your, everyone's uh, wording of, them, of themselves you know, build, it can usually make or break a result, at least on the short term, you know, in the long term, it's a little bit difficult, but then on the short term, that what happens. Um, so with this being said, I really feel like we built something special. And I say that because now is almost, we all, almost went through a cycle of people. Like we have maybe five, 10 people that were here before, but we, but the people that were here before, they either kind of like what I like to call graduated or, you know, decided that, you know, our work that we require is, is, is higher than expected. Uh, some of them, you know, they, they sadly, they, you know, they invested to, with us and then they didn't do the work, which is, which is crazy because it's like, how do you invest in yourself and not? Most people think that just by investing, they say, yeah, I'm going to change my, I'm, I see other people succeeding, it's going to happen for me too. Um, I wish that was the sexy offer that we have. Reality is like, you need to do the work in here. Uh, but also set you up to become a, a different person, meaning like whatever, whatever you're changing, you, you keep, you know, in here. Uh, so I see a completely change, like a cycle, new people in here. And yet I see the same thing like, like the last year. It's like everybody appreciates this part of the most, the environment, you know, the program itself, the whole package of it is working really well. And I think we're going to do one that I'm, I'm, you know, I'm again, for most of the, most of the people that were not here today or like they see a replay, I'm asking a huge end to really foster this environment. Uh, fostering and posting and do whatever like you can do is only gonna do you good. It's not gonna do us good. It's gonna do you good because like you're gonna, how you motivate other people, one time that you're gonna be very demotivated, you're gonna see somebody else doing it. And that's like almost a cycle of things happening all the time. So do this extra effort, you know, weekly, daily, monthly and from there from there we go uh we have about three four minutes left for this um of course we're gonna see each other on wednesday again do does somebody have any question we probably have time for one or something like anyone want to ask anything maybe that don't have a call coming up soon like any, anything at all like you can um, still have some times if you need any small quick tweak or anything well if it's not then <laughs> we, we're gonna see each other on wednesday uh make a effort if you can if you're not working or if you don't have anything scheduled to come um it's it's gonna be impactful you know uh, it's really gonna talk about a lot of things that are not so easy to see sometimes um and then of course you know we're gonna be live pretty much all week here for this uh you know for this uh, stress you know topic it's it is something that is impact all of us you know like really comment uh, more more you comment more i'm gonna be able to really say okay she's struggling with this i'm gonna come back at, at, with a solution. Um, it's not obvious. It's not obvious stress. Stress is something that if you work in understanding what it is, you're going to fix. Otherwise, you're going to be a year from now struggling with the same things. It's like, yes, I'm stressed today. Uh, I feel like it's out of my control. Okay, cool. You know, it's, it's very simple. There is a stress that is in front. There is a stressor that, we, that is behind that makes you be stressed. And then there is the ability of you understand that, okay, cool. If this stressor can be justified, such as dog dying, family member being sick, uh, something that you have, like let's say you lost your job or something like that, that's, stre- that's, that's you are stressed, can be stressed for that. If it's something that you make yourself up, like saying, okay, cool, I hit my leg against the wall or something, and I felt like, okay, I had a 
conversation with my boss, you still stress, but like you can somehow do things to medicate that, medicate it in a way that is natural, such as stop, breathe, meditate for three minutes. Anyway, when you take those wrong choices, when you take those bad choices, you always take those choices in a time that you have time. Like if you have time to eat, you take a bad choice versus a good choice. You have time to stop for two seconds and meditate on the situation. There is always time. So it's something that you need to start doing it. It's not natural. First, you will need to see this thing. Then you will need to practice it. So it's not as simple as saying, okay, cool. I'm just not going to be stressed today. It is difficult. What you don't want to do, and this I see this multiple times with anxiety, with depression, with all that thing. People <laughs> medicate stress and depression. And again, disregard if you are under a doctor of order that tells you that you need to be taking something, but they take medicine for it. And it's like, what happens with medicine is like a chemical structure that change a chemical structure in your brain so that you can build more dopamine so that you can change your, your thoughts or you can change your state of mind. This is what happens with medicine. And by the way, always, it's always something like that, it, it, whether, whether it's stress or anything else. If you can try to force yourself to make the right decision with, uh, without taking medicine, you always won. Because like, ultimately, there is a lot of things that are going to always improve with, with you being holistic, without, not, you know, without uh, having side effects and everything. So hopefully this brief explanation was helpful enough. Uh, for those of you who are going to see a replay, you're going to see that as well as our uh, life. You know, all week, we're going to try to roll things around around stress and you know, uh, wording and, and all this that we already uh, spoke about. And then, of course, on Friday, for those of you that need, you can always come here and get an um, adjustment. Uh, it's important before we go to understand an adjustment. Like you always want to, if you need an adjustment, try to show up in any of these calls. We can always give an adjustment. It's important for you to, to do that as often as you can because just doing, you know, every two weeks. Yeah, we can talk about your particular situation there. We can give a game plan to put together. But the adjustment you need to do as often as you can. For example, I like Aditi. She always does it as quick. Most of the time that she has something, she sends me a text. You can do that via text. You can do that via coming with the calls. Like you, you must do as, always this thing because it's really the, the reflection of all the action we take on a, on, a, on, a, what's on a weekly basis, not so much on a, on a monthly or two, three weeks, you know, spend. Ladies, thank you so much for taking time. Uh, we'll be talking very shortly, uh, probably Wednesday, if you're here. If not, I wish you all, you know, a good week or if you go in traveling for a few days or whatever. So, you know, we'll, we'll be in touch very soon. Thank you so much for taking time. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye.